pumpkin pie, cutie pie, and of course my blueberry pies. This was the Bitcoin session that just happened and it was a bit of a wild one. We went and we broke these lows. We got a lot of stops and then we had an immediate rejection. We got all the shorts out and then we come back in between. I've seen this exact price action in Q1 of 2019 when I was scalping Bitcoin with a couple of other people on uh, the Twitter lands friends. I've got a lot of friends out there. Shout out to all of them. I'm going to show you right now. So just remember this chart, this is what it looks like, right? You got some wicks down, wick down, come up, fake down, and then you do this up and down wiki. So this is February, March of 2019. This was the actual bear market bottom. If you go to actually my Twitter friends, uh, one of my original pictures at the top, it's actually this chart down here. It's when I came into crypto, it came in, I'm like, oh, I really like Bitcoin, liquidations, and I went actually more in all in here. So what's interesting is this price action reminds me and another one of my friends who traded with me back then, the exact same pattern. You're seeing this, we're up, down, oh no, reject, come back down, wiki, wiki, go back down. We saw this a lot. It was actually, I'd never seen anything like it before in my life because I was paying too much attention to that short-term price action. I was seeing something go up, oh no, reject down and then actually stop and then go back up. I've never seen anything like that before. This is pure manipulation. This is low volume manipulation. In traditional markets like the S&P 500, what will usually happen is it will go up somewhere, fake out, come back the other way. Most of the time, that's what it will do. But in crypto, it's literally on crack. It goes up, fake, come back down, go down. No, fake again. No, go up, fake again. F -f 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 <laughs> Yeah, this is the game, Fred. It's the game. You wonder why no one in crypto gets a proper night's sleep. This is exactly the reason why. So this is the chart we're looking at right now. And of course, we're still watching that monthly candle. We're watching September play out. Right now, how has September gone? Well, just like every other September, right? It's down like 0.8%. We're waiting to see, are we going to get scammed or are we actually going to continue the cycle as before? And don't forget, at the end of the day, the weekly super trend. So you just got to go to trading view, type in super trend. This is a default indicator. Friends, trust me. I love you with all my heart. I respect everyone's hustle out there, but I'm just telling you now, you don't need any other indicator. You don't need to pay for anything. You don't need to do anything. I'll give you everything you need for free. I just promise you one thing. The one thing I can't give you is a set of balls and a set of ovaries. That is what I can't give you. I can help you. I can tell you that I am massaging my big smooth brass balls, but I can't give them to you, unfortunately. That's what you actually need in this game. And the, the weekly super trend is still green, even though it feels really bad. You know what a lot of people have done? It's very interesting. They've all drawn this trend line and like going, uh-oh, the trend line's been broken before. You want to know what's interesting? I remember this exactly from the past it's like hello are we repeating exactly i remember everybody drew this trend line back in august of 2020 this was DeFi season and we broke down that's why everybody thought it was completely over oh no the trend line the trend line and we went up fascinating so now we just got to ask ourselves a question firstly how straight is our backs and secondly will the bitcoin cycle move like clockwork. I have this nice picture and this nice chart here for you. It's a, it's a very interesting and fascinating topic because on one hand, no, it's not going to be repeating like that way forever. But on the other hand, if we can meme it so hard that everybody thinks it's going to break, <laughs> maybe it just plays out exactly as it is. That's actually what we want, friends. Me and you, we want the cycle to play out exactly as it is. Why? It's because Bitcoin runs for 18 months after the Bitcoin halvening, which effectively means we will run all the way, actually from today, all the way up until the end of 2025. That's what we want. Or the, first, the fourth quarter of 2025. If we get somewhere cut off six or 12 months short, it's going to be disastrous. So this is a zoom up of the picture. It runs like clockwork, right? But as we've seen, this is the four-year cycle. It, it's more closely correlated to the S&P 500, even though we all believe it's the Bitcoin halvening. But we are fantastically gifted now because the majority of the market thinks it's the four-year halvening, but we know it's a stock market. So 
we can get to a point in the future where there's going to be a lot of euphoria and possibly the S&P 500 is rolling down. You know, one of my friends, so you can see here, right? It's like clockwork. You have the green part, the bull, the red, the bear, the yellows, the recovery zone. It's exactly where we are. We seem to be. And the 2024 halvening is coming. 504 days of sideways. We're really going through there. Now we have the BlackBerry, the Roca Negra ETF to help us along the way. So I just wanted to give you a hypothetical because this is the S&P 500 and it really is the dictator of all world markets. You know why? It's, it's the most amount of money. It's got 22 trillion in here or yeah, it's, it's enormous, friends. It's enormous. And everybody's leveraged on this thing. Well, the, the entire world economy is leveraged on S&P 500. So I do see a scenario like this playing out one day. Now, it doesn't have to play out, but it is possible. It's where the S&P 500 goes up, comes back down and it keeps going up or something, right? And... We are having crypto euphoria in this time. And I'm looking at this chart and we're thinking like, uh-oh, the Fed has started to cut rates. The unemployment rate is spiking upwards. We're seeing the unemployment spike, spike upwards slowly. We're starting to start spike upwards. We're seeing maybe China's economy can't be printed out. You know, some sort of news comes out slowly over time. And there were worries and they were looming. And... The market is still in this zone. And we see the S&P 500 like here. We might get to this point. But in this zone, crypto might be going nuts. This is 2025. And I'm looking at this chart with you. And I'll be making videos because you will like, subscribe, press the belly button. And I appreciate every single one of you friends. So we're watching this chart. And I'm thinking like, hey, man, if, if the S&P rolls down, goodbye to our bull market, right? And that's what we might be facing ourselves with. Now, what I pray, I do the sign of the cross, friends, I promise you, I am praying that during this time, we have clear, obvious signs of euphoria. For example, I hope we have Jim Cramer saying S&P 500 is going to 6,000, right, which is up here. I hope we have Jim Cramer saying Bitcoin's going to 100,000 or 300,000. I hope we have a lot of these clear signs up here because in my Roca Negra scam ETF scenario, it's such a nasty scenario where Bitcoiners end up round tripping for five years and they really test their faith. In this scenario, I believe if the world is go and markets, if they're going to punish us this bad, I believe they're going to give us very clear signs. And I believe the punishment will be harsh. It's just that no one's going to listen to the signs because why? The dollars. The dollar signs are not high enough. That's why. So you, we might see very clear, obvious things in this zone, but we're not seeing a blue chip created in crypto. We're not seeing Jim Cramer bearish. We're not seeing. There's a lot of things, right? We're, we're just we're not seeing Bitcoin above 150k. It's right only 80k, you know. And Michael Saylor's starting to sell, and you know all these maybe all these things come up. You never know. All these X factors. I, I hunt all these signals out here, all these like universal intergalactic force signals that come out that you can't see on a chart. I've got a feeling deep down in my loins that something like this will happen. And it's going to be a case of when we go down, everyone's like, oh my gosh, there were like a thousand obvious signs. It's just that nobody listened. Nobody wanted to listen. Why didn't they want to listen? It's because they refused to click sell under $120,000 Bitcoin. They just refused or $100,000 Bitcoin. Right, and every single influencer on YouTube is cheering 100k, 100k, 100k. Right now, this is just a 70% chance. I've got to remind you, I don't know the future, I never will. But this, this scenario scares me so much, it's best we prepare for it now. That's why I'm here to give you the good news, friends. This is not bad news. Do you want to know that it's coming or not? Like, if I told you a car's gonna crash into the wall, don't stand in front of the wall. That's it. What about the poor people who are doing handstands in front of the wall? You are not going to be one of them. At least, at least, at least we can see it coming. I love cybernetics message here as well. Allow the positive message to the universe that we would like some green effing pump candles for 666 days straight and to start in roughly 100 days. Amen. Yes, I pray, I pray, I pray. There is a scenario, friends. We never know. There is a scenario where we all think it's over, but then some massive QE thing comes at the end. Like there is a scenario that might happen, but we're going to wait and see. And speaking of the cycles, I just want to talk about Mr. Alex Becker, a very popular influencer. Now, Mr. Alex Becker made a post here, and a lot of people are getting pooped for it, but I actually kind of agree with him. Listen to this. He goes, 
this, what we're seeing, isn't similar to 2019. Okay, that part I really agree with. He says, you are not getting a four-year cycle or a nice, predictable bull run to pick up generational wealth like a welfare check. Sorry. So he says that, okay. But then he also says, this doesn't apply to gaming. So I was like, <laughs> come on, bro. How can you make such a general statement on crypto and then the, the most Ponzi useless industry of crypto is gaming itself? Well, we don't actually need the token. How can you say this? But it is what it is. Oh my God, Mr. Pancakes Bro is here. Mr. Pancakes Bro, sir, I'm going to have to go out of my way to give you two likes and say we appreciate and we love you. All right, so Mr. Alex Becker is he's, he's skeptical and he has every right to be skeptical because we're skeptical too. We're like, excuse me. Uh, this is going to be the fourth cycle in a row, but every single cycle from before, you had doubters of generational wealth. Now, this is the first cycle where everybody believes it's coming and everybody expects generational wealth from the bear market. We did not expect generational wealth from the previous bear markets, but in this one, we still had people entitling themselves to a generational retirement. But friends, the market is a wild beast. If she's a wild beast, if she was a woman, she would be red hair and she would be very fierce, green eyes. She'd look like an Irish woman just standing on the cliff out there, just rah, yelling at you, friends, in the, the siren of the night. This is the issue when it comes to stock market traps like this. They're only traps because they get everybody hopeful in. That's why. So it would be, it, wouldn't it be pretty nice if we don't even make it to the halvening, right? We go to like 50K and then we just have a crappy... 2024, it would be great because then we could just be bullish forever. Unfortunately, markets don't do that. So why wouldn't this scenario be like dangerous? It's because nobody would be allocated because people will only buy at the end of 2024, which is around here. They'll only buy at the end of 24 if 2024 was a green year, if it was a green yearly candle because they're expecting the four-year cycle. So they're expecting another green yearly candle. But if it's, if it's a trash year, they're not touching anything. We'll get to buy. You'll get to DCA by the dip, and then they'll get to buy at the end of 2025. That's what will happen. But that's not lining itself up for a trap. That's lining itself up for a generational wealth-making trade. If the market's going to trap everybody, it's going to do what I mentioned, which is what I think is we're playing out the cycle exactly the way until the very end. Until the very end, S&P 500 rolls over. Something happens. I don't know. China blows up. Something happens. That's how I just feel it's coming. But I just want to remind you as well, friends, everybody can get it wrong. So for example, I have these screenshots here just to remind you. Remembering when Mr. Alex Becker was turbo bearish at the crypto bottom, everyone feels the fear and depression at the lows like in many coins. I just want to remind you. So if we put it down just a weekly chart, when I was super, look at this, all the way down here when everybody was, it was absolutely over down here. See this down here? It was absolutely over. I want to share with you what he was saying. So... He was saying, crypto overall is completely ignoring the fact that what we just saw in the market with FTX, Luna, and Celsius is about to start happening in real markets, 20 times crypto size and impact. Bro, dot, dot, dot. This will look like a good day here soon. So when was he saying that? Literally November 10th at the literally, well, as we're all the way down here. Bang, this is it. He was saying it literally right here, by the way. There you go. The actual bottom. The, the, the bottom of bottoms. As I was tweeting bullish stuff. You know, I remember his post coming to my feed and I was like, oh man, I'm either going down as one of the biggest idiots of all time, most embarrassing, shameful, non-friend, or the people are going to lift me up. Because friends, I was I was against Alex Becker here. I was against Richard Hart. I was against Da Vinci J15, the guy who bought it at a dollar. I was literally against... Every single person except you, the people. I was not against you. I was always on your side because I said, you know what? The curse stops here. You know why? Because Jim Cramer is bearish. That's all we needed, baby. Jim Cramer was bearish. And don't forget, friends, there are all these signals everywhere. Mr. Alex Becker, our banks and financial institutions are less liquid. They are more over leveraged. He even says he, the reason... Uh, the real reason I'm still turbo bearish. When was this? This was literally as we were going up in Feb, right? So right here, right here, Bitcoin, $20,000-ish. So he's still turbo bearish. That was a disbelief, remember? 
the disbelief phase. That's literally disbelief. He, he was literally, he was part of the Wall Street cheat sheet, which is right here. Disbelief is this is a sucker's rally. See that? It's because mar markets have too many cheaters and scammers and insiders. They are always front running the future. So at the bottom of the bears, at the bottom of every move, before the good news comes out, there are insiders who are buying. We've run out of sellers. They're all gone. It's people who have some sort of wind, some early information. For example, when it comes to Richard Hart case, you probably have people who are lawyers and insiders connected. They're going to give inside word to themselves that maybe Richard Hart's starting to win the case and it's going to be a good result. So they start to buy up Pulse, Pulse X and Hex. I mean, markets, public open markets give you financial access to do this. So you're always going to trade on the information. So that's why as we get the disbelief rally, you might even find people on Twitter saying, hey, I, I didn't buy the Pulse and Pulse X and Hex lows. Why is it going up? Richard is still uh, being attacked by the SEC. I don't get it. So that's what's probably going to happen. This is just how markets are. But now I've given you access to the knowledge, friends, the knowledge, the apple, the tree of knowledge right here. Also, the tree of friendship. Don't forget, like, subscribe, but not to mom and dad. We love and appreciate them today. We're going to eat some more strawberries, friends. I'll catch you in the next one.